This bit of data is uh, comes to us from uh, a spreadsheet that I found online. Now, a lot of you guys probably know about this. This is the uh, Tesla Model 3 Invites spreadsheet um, that a lot of folks on Reddit have been uh, entering their data into, and I think it's pretty cool. Um, now, there used to be a website called model3tracker.info, which I think actually does have more data, but uh, I, I know that I think a lot of the traffic to that has really died when people started using this. So I think this is really great. There are a few folks um, on Reddit. Uh, one of them I, I've chatted with before, his name's Troy. I know he has some stuff going on here, um, and, and these guys do a great job. Now, they have data, which is the key thing that I'm after. Then they have some reports as well, um, but I, I wasn't really in love with, with some of the reports, so I was able to access this data and then create some of my own uh, reports and charts out of that. So that's what I want to talk about here. Now, this comes basically from a question of whether or not you're going to get your VIN anytime soon because everyone at this point should have got an invite to configure um, and then from there uh, it, it's it's a matter of okay you've configured it you put down your additional twenty five hundred dollar deposit when are you going to get your actual um, car when are you going to get your VIN which is like right before you get your car so um, I, I put together some charts using that data uh, so first off looking at a trend of invites you can kind of see um, as they went out and, it, and it's was surprising to me now the thing about this is that this data is from that spreadsheet. There's about 5,000 entries total. So this is absolutely not representative of the whole. For example, looking at April 18th of 2018, we see that that was the highest day of number of invites that went out. But as we know, just I think it was June 26th, so just a couple weeks ago, pretty much everybody got got uh, the invite to configure. So uh, this is the data we're looking at here. I'm trying to kind of make sense of it. And, and just, you know, knowing that this is a sample of the overall picture, it can give us a clue, but it can't give us like the, the full picture, right? We don't have all the data. So just keep that in mind that this, it's fun to look at these things, but this isn't necessarily indicative of the future. So um, the next question I had was, uh, how long is it gonna take uh, to get your invite? Um, and I looked at it kind of by uh, different categories here. Um, and, and so there, there were three, excuse me, uh, th there were three different um, types of weights that, that I was considering here. And when I'm actually able to pull it up, I'll show it to you. Um, there was like, how long did it take to go from, uh, from your reservation to invite and from invite to configure, which is like your own delay. How long did you wait to, to put that order in? Um, and then it was uh, configure to VIN and uh, VIN to delivery. Let me see if I can actually pull this up. I should be able to find it on the other page here. I'm not sure why it's not coming up. So one second. And if you're on Crowdcast, uh, make sure to get your questions. This is our last story of the day. Uh, make sure to go vote for the questions and um, we will jump over to them here in just a second. Let me double check. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have to go over here. One second, guys. Looks like I hid the, the tabs, so I have to go all the way over to the sheet and pull it up for you. I use Tableau for this, by the way. Um, I know I've got questions about that in the past. Uh, there are you know, all kinds of different analytical tools and platforms for different use cases. For me, this one is just the easiest and the best, and I kind of know it, so it's easy for me to, to kind of do that. Um, okay, so, here, so let's do this one. And this is where I host all my stuff. So if you guys want to follow along whenever I publish um, new data and stuff, you can follow me on Tableau Public, and that's where it'll be. And I think it's their website that's slow because my internet connection is crazy fast. Here we go. So if I do show worksheets as tabs, yep, that's right. Okay, cool. So average weight, there we go. So uh, for people that have got their invite in the last three weeks, the average config delay, the average days between when you got your invite to uh, when you configured was three. 
And then the average wait for a VIN was only three days as well. So that means a lot of people were getting them uh, very, very quickly, which I thought was surprising. Then you have the delivery window. So uh, from, from VIN to delivery was 16 days. So if you get your VIN, I would say, you know, it's two to three weeks before you're actually gonna get your, your car. So, so, you know, this is just kind of the overall what I was looking at. Now, if you, if you expand this out to like, let's say the last three months, um, then this is gonna change slightly. And if you do, you know, last three years, which would be everybody, you can see how it's like dramatically different, right? So um, those are kind of the, the average wait times by stage. And again, I'll go down to weeks, so that way you can see it um, just from the previous, uh, the most recent stuff. Now, I also wanted to, to see a trend, like what are the trends looking like for these things? And so I have this one, which is a bit more dynamic. And on this one, what you can do is you can choose your from date and your to date. So you can say from configure to VIN for people that have got their config, that have done a configuration in the last three months. What is the trend of how many days that is taking? And you can see that that trend is going sharply down. And if you look at the R squared value there, it's actually pretty good. It covers a lot of these cases. Um, and so, you know, we're looking at just a couple days. Um, I know some of you guys that, that have been waiting longer than that, that have already configured. And maybe if you're in Europe or Australia or something like that, it may be, you know, a lot longer. But overall, at least from the data that we're looking on the spreadsheet, the time in which you configure to get your VIN is, is shrinking dramatically. So that's really good news. Then I thought, well, maybe it varies by location. So I built a little map here uh, to show us exactly that. So um, you can see, so this is for folks in the last three months. Let's choose the last three weeks. So we're going from configure to VIN. What is the average number of days that you are waiting by location? And this is just by states. Now I do have there some Canada stuff, but there's nobody in Europe or anything. So uh, you can see, you know, in Alabama it's eight, in uh, Texas it's five. Uh, looks like Pennsylvania is six, uh, Connecticut is seven, Massachusetts six, California three, kind of makes sense, Nevada one, Arizona one, Oregon two. So you can just kind of play with this, right? So if you want to see, okay, let's look at like the past three months, um, you can see, and then we have people in Canada. Um, and then you can also go from different things. So like from reservation um, to, let me see if it refreshes, reservation to configure, uh, the reservations aren't within the last three months. Let's do invite to configure. So you can kind of just play around and see this. I think the, mo the most compelling one is from configuration to VIN though, um, because I know that's what a lot of people, a lot of folks are, are waiting on right now. So for the last three months, you can kind of see what it's like. So anyways, um, this will be available at a link in the description below. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, this will update. So as that spreadsheet gets updated, um, you know, it'll, it'll automatically update. And so if you're, if you're not sure about where that is as well, if you want to add your data to it, you can go, um, on every one of these visits is the link. And then also in the description, I'll put a link to that spreadsheet so you guys can go do it. So let me know what you guys think about that. Hit me up on Twitter. If they find any discrepancies, anything you think I should change, just let me know. Um, Cause you know, when I have time, I, I love to produce these kind of things and you know, I, I geek out and that's what I do.